From In the Beginning to the Musical Apocalypse, this is The Bible Says What? I'm your host, Mike Wiseman. God's Way. Many Christians have not rationally considered how their God wants things done. The answer to that is in their holy book, which they either ignore or refuse to acknowledge as a bad thing. According to the Christian holy book, Romans 7, 12, and Psalm 19, 7, the laws introduced by Yahweh are perfect, holy, and righteous. 1 John 5, 3 and Deuteronomy 30, 11 tells us that these perfect rules are easy to follow. Why then do most Christians not find the stoning of disobedient children to be an easy and good thing? Their perfect father thinks it's a great idea. Hebrews 10, 1, the law is only a shadow of the good things that are coming. That doesn't sound very good at all. Leviticus 24, 16, anyone who blasphemes the name of the Lord is to be put to death. Such a violently fragile ego. These are just a few examples of the Christian deity's perfect rules. This is the Christian source of morality. Let's start the show. Is there anything in the Bible that you yourself have an issue with? <laughs> okay, so it took you reading the Bible to realize that those things were bad for you? Yeah, it actually did. I, I didn't figure this out on your own? No, Ted, Ted Bundy could be redeemed. God doesn't kill children. Does, what do you think the Passover was? Yahweh sets up a whole system in the Old Testament where you slaughter animals just so he's able to forgive you. Today's special guest is Christian podcaster and teacher, Tony Rambles. Welcome to the show, Tony. Hey, what's going on, Mike? Good to see you. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for taking the time. So tell us a little bit about uh, what you do. Well, I'm a teacher, like you said. Uh, I feel like everything that I do involves teaching in some way. So that's kind of how I landed, teaching in high school, also coaching multiple sports, girls basketball, softball, uh, sponsoring the biggest key club in the district, you know, not to uh-huh. toot my horn. Uh, but I also like to, uh, obviously, I have my own show, hmm. uh, the Living Numbers Podcast, because much like, like you, I like to connect, I like to tell stories, and uh, I like to talk. So. Hmm. Uh, that's the the short version. Short version. Nice, nice. So let's jump into the Christian part of it. Um, why did you All become right. a Christian? Oh, man. I Sorry, tough one right out of the gate there. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm always just thinking, like, where do I start the story? Mm. Uh, because, you know, there's always, like, these ebbs and flows, these ups and downs, and these different yeah. uh, flashbulb moments. That kind of, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, I became a Christian, uh, because I felt like, uh, it was a, a calling. I'm sure you get that all the time with the questions that you ask, but I felt like hmm. there was something that was telling me that, uh, it was a different way, a better way. Hmm. And, uh, I followed that and it kind of led me to, uh, the Bible hmm. and building relationships with, with these people who had a, a higher belief and that helped me you know, hmm. to, to live a life that I felt like was better, you know? So hmm. I feel like my life gets better every year and it comes down to what I believe in. Gotcha. So, so definitely believe it. Life was better. Um, as far as the podcast goes, uh, how, how do you incorporate mm-hmm. your beliefs into the show? Well, your beliefs kind of drive who you are, hmm. you know? So if you believe something, eventually it's going to show up. So I've never set out to make it a Christian podcast, but I am a Christian, so I'm not going to like hide it, you know? So mm-hmm. when it comes up and it's relevant to the conversation, then I'm going to put it in there. You know, right. if, if, if it doesn't come up, then I'm not going to shoehorn my belief into, you know, whatever we're talking about. So yeah. I, I kind of let it just flow naturally. Gotcha. Um, so what is the Bible to you? You mentioned a few times. I mean, well, uh, yeah. The, the, the other instructions, right? Instructions. It's basically, this is this is what this is what I need to know. This is how I how I need to live, huh. and it helps me to kind of stay on the right track. Gotcha. How I need to live. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Mm. So, Second Timothy, not Second Timothy. Is it Second Timothy? Oh man, now I'm totally confused. It might be Second Timothy. Uh, two three sixteen. Uh, all scriptures God breathed, useful for preaching, teaching, and correcting, and training in righteousness. Do you believe that? Uh, Hundred percent. That's that's what the Bible's for: correcting, training, teaching, all that. Yeah, absolutely. Gotcha, gotcha. Is there is there anything in there that you have an issue with? Uh, I do feel like there are things that are in there that is they're not easy to to understand or figure out because hmm. I also believe like we don't have all of the context for everything. Okay, you know because we don't live in those same kind of times, and uh, I do believe it because that's what the word is telling me to do and it has never steered me wrong since uh so i i trust that uh continuing to believe and walk and live in the right way uh god's way is always going to help me to be the best that i can be not just for myself but for other people i think that's where my belief is is strongest wow there's a lot there's a lot thank you that was that was good um I don't even know where to begin. Holy cow. <laughs> so those 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 uh, Bible verses that uh, are not easy to understand. Is there is anything in particular mm. you can point out or, or remember or think of as far as that goes? Uh, when you start looking at like Old Testament stuff mm. and you look into actually one of my favorite books is Joshua. Hmm. And they're taking over the promised land and they're moving in and he's like, destroy everybody and everything. You go, man, God is kind yeah. of ruthless at this point in time. And uh, I reconciled that just kind of thinking about how, how before Jesus, there was no reconciliation. Right. So either you were on God's side uh -huh. or you wasn't on God's side. And so if you weren't on God's side, you just got the wrath, whatever that was. Right. There was no. There was no um, reconciliation for sin, right? The penalty of sin is death. Hmm. And so just to think like our God would send people in and just destroy an entire lineage of people, it's like, hmm. man, that's rough. Yeah. Um, but that that's the same faith that that Jesus brought. And, you know, so that's why I'm so grateful for that part of the Bible. If it just stopped at the Old Testament, man, that'd be pretty rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, do you see... Um, how does the Trinity work for you? Is God Jesus and Jesus is God and, and the, the one person and all that? So, so the God in the Old Testament yep, is Jesus, that's... right? Okay, so Jesus yes. is is asking for in this particular instance Joshua to destroy people. Mm -hmm. Yep, doesn't sound like a very Hold Jesus on. thing. Man, isn't Jesus about turning doesn't... the other cheek? You know. <laughs> Uh, in some instances, obviously, uh, mm. but like some things I feel like I'll never be able to understand. Yeah. Like God's way of doing things or thinking, like we're not always going to be able to to digest that, right? Because he's coming from a, well, different, a different lens, right? Yeah. I mean, but we can use our human lens and our humans, you know, morality and, and decide that destroying those people and their children and their donkeys and their dogs and their cats probably wasn't the best idea. Um or the most loving act for that matter. Uh, he can change hearts and minds. So why do we have to wipe everybody out? So violent, pointless. Yeah, I mean, well, you have to know, I guess you have to know who's on, on your side, right? If you just hmm. forgave everybody and did it that way before the Jesus part, right? Because now hmm. once Jesus comes in, you have the Holy Spirit and now God is not making you. It's all, you know, urging, hmm. you know, and, and, and hoping, right? And wanting people to come to him. But before that, there was no like hmm. blood that covered everything. No, he, you know, he as wanted as, innocent animals as as to as die. I understand and, it. And yeah, that was the best way he could figure out to forgive people at that time. And then later on, he decided he needs the blood of himself. It's all very weird. So um, Jesus in the Old Testament. Um, the flood, do you think that happened? I believe it. You believe it. So Jesus flood the earth. Too. I feel like you, you, well, God, Jesus, the Holy yeah. Spirit, whichever name you want to use, yeah. that's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, hmm. yeah. That, I mean, because if you, I mean, I look at the Bible as believe all of it or believe none hmm. of it. Right. Okay. Right. Because it's all God breathed, all used for teaching, just like you said. And so, uh, don't be in the middle. As far that's how I see it. Like if you say, "Well, yeah. I don't believe any of the Bible." 
okay, you know, go for it, accept mm. it, you know, or you say, I believe it all. Great. Go for it. Accept it. Just don't mm. be in the middle. As far as I'm concerned, that's how mm. I look at it. Lukewarm. I spit you out. That's what the Bible says. There you go. Yeah. So I mean, that's, that's not really a good thing either. I mean, my kids like were uncertain whether they loved me or not. I wouldn't spit them out. I wouldn't have them on my mouth, but that'd be weird. Um, but no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dis, dis, you know, man, that word I'm looking for, you know, anyways. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't distance myself from them. There it is. There's kind of, kind of what I'm going for. I wouldn't distance myself from them. I wouldn't, mm-hmm. I wouldn't put it as a bad thing. You know, you, you don't love me. Fine. That's fine. I will continue to love you. I'm not going to push you away. I'm not going to torture you. I'm not going to punish you. Um, but uh, that's just what I would do as a flawed human being. God, on the other hand, wants to wipe people out. Jesus wants Not to drown flawed. people. Yeah. So why why do you think the flood you happened? Or, or you not? Right. That's not really a good thing, though. Like, would you do that with your kid? Either you love me, or I'm going to drown no. you, or I'm going to I'm going to send you to torture forever in hell. I mean, would you do that? No, but I'm not God. Again, like I can't. Un- there's no way that I can understand every all of this stuff because a lot of people will go. It never even happened. What well, doesn't make right? sense? So there's though. tons of different ways to. As as a loving father, we would not do that, that to our it. children. If there was if there was only one stance, there was no reconciliation. There was hmm. no in the middle. That was it. It was either you love us, you with us, or you're not. Hmm. There was no middle. There was no. Um, what is that word? Uh, there was no like repentance. There was no figure it out. There was no middle ground. You know, that's why they had to slaughter animals every year, and make these sacrifices and these offerings and for, yeah. the, you know, the blood, you know, so they were trying to, to get back, you know, to stay in good standing, you know, so that's why they had to do it. And when I slaughter Dang. a million people and, and flood the world, like, no, no, but good. I'm not God. And I, just can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't understand that. That doesn't part. make it a good thing though, Tony. Would you, would you personally, would you slaughter the innocent to forgive the guilty? Is that something you would come up with or an idea that you think is a good idea or do? Again, it's a different, this, this is God before. I I'm talking about everybody. Tony. I'm talking about Tony. Would you personally do that? No. No, I wouldn't kill anybody. Why would you not do that? Well, okay. If if someone was coming into your house to take over, what would you do? You would have to make a stand. There would be no in the middle. Who's taking over whose house? Well, so this is is God's place. (laughs) The world. (laughs) The world is God's place. At this point. Okay. Yes. At this point, you know, he, he wants it run a certain way. Uh-huh. And then and there was no, ah, you know, we could follow some rules and don't follow other rules. You know, I can leave the dishes in the sink, but as long as I can clean the bathroom, I'm good. Right. There was no it was the house had to be clean or the house wasn't clean. You know, to run the world how I see fit or you don't get to be here. You kind of strict road. now. Very strict. Yeah. Okay? But again, that was before, like. Hmm. You know, forgiveness and come on back. Right. He still you wants know, the innocent to die that before that in order to forgive us, though. That's the, that's the thing. That's nobody's another innocent. one. <laughs> why? Why would he need the innocent to die in order to forgive us? Why? Why do you think he needed that? Well, his his thing was. What you mean, like with Jesus? Why would God? You mean in the Old Testament need to kill himself in order to forgive us? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well. Well, he sent himself down as a way to show people, this is how you live. This is how you do things. I huh. have to do it myself because I've sent prophets. You guys didn't listen to them. I sent Which people knew. to try to teach y'all. Y'all didn't listen to them. Which he knew. And so let me jump in here and do it myself. Which he knew he would have to do. What it means. All of this he knew he I mean, would have to do. So is it kind of like a setup at that point? Like this is all just a setup to do what he wants to happen. So he wanted to I mean, kill again, himself. I feel like in order to I feel forgive like us. There's, he That's wanted so to weird, show us Tony. the way. There's other Only ways to show us. <laughs> this is not the way, Tony. <laughs> because it's because just, we're all flawed. What, which way all is humans, he showing us, Tony? You know, we're all flawed. Which way is he showing us? Well, how did Jesus live? 
Well, a lot of How different things. Leave? We can go to Jesus for sure. Jesus says he's going to come back and with an angry angel army and throw me in hell because I don't love him or his dad. Uh, Jesus also cursed a tree because he was hangry. And then he threw a bunch of people out of the temple. I mean, there's a lot of issues with Jesus. And, and especially if Jesus is God. I mean, when we're else... going back to the Old Testament, drowning innocent lives. Every puppy, every kitten, every child, every fetus just drown well, because he didn't want to change their Jesus... hearts. You start talking about the temple. Okay. Mm. That's like, again, you start bringing people into your house and uh -huh. they start putting their feet up, you know, and doing whatever they want to do. It's like, hey, y'all got to hit the road. Like, y'all can't follow the rules. Gotta he didn't do road. that, though. He turned over tree, tables. Okay. You're not. Yeah. He said, get this stuff out of here. Yeah, he got angry. You know, let's turn some tables over. Angry is not perfect. All right. It, it... Lashing out violently uh, is not perfect. He was angry either. at the actions. Angry That's at the actions, not angry. Still at the not people. perfect, though, Tony. He let his emotions uh, and overwhelm him, and he says be, lashed out irrationally at these people. Because? Well, it says be angry, but, but sin not. Because he was he, hungry. He told them exactly what to do. He sent them out. Hmm. Well, when he went in and he saw that the things were happening, he didn't hmm. turn it over because he was hungry. He, he turned it over because of the disrespect to his house. Well, in the beginning of the story, he's hangry. He's 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 he wakes up in the morning he and he's hungry. To the, he goes to the temple to get. Some he bread. says, "I'm hungry," and he walks on the way and he finds a fig tree, and the fig tree is not in season. Now Jesus is God, and God knows that this tree is not in season. He knows exactly what's going to happen before he even walks up to this thing. So instead of making it grow fruit for the entire village and feed everybody forever, what does Jesus do? He kills the tree. Curse the fig tree. He curses it. He sends down a curse to kill the tree because he's hangry. In and season didn't or have not fruit. in season. He knew, Tony, he knew. And then before he even got to the temple, before he even woke up that morning, he knew mm. that he was going to go over there and flip some tables. Jesus is God. God is Jesus. And God knows everything. So that's not perfect. Knowing that you're going to have to need blood uh, sacrifice for things is not perfect. Knowing that you're going to create something and then have to drown it later is really not perfect either. Mm. I don't know, man. I can't understand <laughs> everything either. Me neither. Which part? That's why science has though? tons of theories. Because well, none is, of them are Noah's Ark, though. Is you, I mean, but you can't prove everything. That's why they're always theories, working theories. Right. So why would you believe something we can't prove? I believe that the spirit of God uh -huh. has helped me to be a better husband, a better friend, a better son, better uh -huh. man. And I feel like the reason that we can't just do that ourselves, because again, we are I did not though, perfect. Tony. I did. And our thinking is flawed. Tony, I did. I, I became a better person without an invisible friend. I don't have anybody helping me out. Oh, I do. I have actually human people. My, my wife, my kids. My, my kid will mm -hmm. tell me, hey, hey, dad, you're getting kind of upset. Calm down. Oh, thanks, man. No, I can I can think. I can rationalize. I can do better. Mm -hmm. Every day I tell my kids, you know, 1% better. Flawed. Try that one little bit. Of course we're flawed. 100%. But I'm not right. going to curse a fig tree but I because it's out of season. I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I'm flawed, but you I'm not feel... Jesus flawed. I'm not going to drown my kids because they're not listening. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to demand worship and love and respect or else I will burn them forever. I'm not going to do those things, Tony. Do you know what not that makes man. me? It's, it's a hope. That Come makes on. me more. Come on in. I have a better life for you. More moral than but God. Eventually. I mean, well, that's what you believe. You don't feel like God is. I don't know if you, you don't think he's real. You don't feel like don't what he that. teaches is, is, is moral. And I don't. That's totally fine. I can I can only tell you from my perspective and how it's helped me it's, to it's, be better. I'm, I'm because glad it's I can look you to at, be a better person. Because my wife is flawed. What? My wife is flawed. My parents are flawed. Mm. So if I hang on every word they say, they're going to fail me. I haven't failed with God. You haven't failed with God. How have you won with God? Well, I've found purpose but in my life. Can you? I, I figure it out. You found wow. purpose. God didn't find purpose. You found that purpose, and you mm. became a better person through your own thoughts, oh. right? What What did God specifically do? Well, through through the reading, through the reading and, and teaching of what I I found in the Bible. Oh, 
Definitely not the burn that's, the prostitutes. That's how it is helped one. Help to be. <laughs> well, Definitely I mean, not you that can one. Look, you can pick whatever piece you want to. There's also tons of good stuff in there too. It's Show like, me the love. I mean, Show me the love. People how to manage money. Where's the good spot in here? Show me some good spots. I mean, I mean, you you know it. You've read it. I mean, you could I pull have. it out Bible verses. You talk about Timothy and so I mean, if you if you want it. Then it's there for you. But if you I haven't don't, found the then... good parts, though, Tony, no, you're you telling me you it's good it. and it teaches you and it's instructions. Where are some good instructions? I mean, it, OK, it, it talks about how to how to handle your wife, loving your children, <laughs> loving your Tony, wife, treating Tony, them with you great just said respect. Handle your wife. And also, <laughs> Tony, <laughs> teaching you how to love your wife. And I like that. It's better. It's better. It's better. As the weaker vessel. Wow, I mean, Tony. That, I mean, if, oh, if you no. wanted it. I, I mean, I don't think you really. Why? Why do you believe your it, wife is a weaker you know, that's, vessel? That's totally fine. No. Why do you believe your wife is a weaker vessel? So you don't believe that women? I mean, if we're just talking about the physical part of things, you couldn't over overpower most women. That, You're telling me I that mean, my wife, she's five six, a hundred and because pounds. you can overpower most women, that they're weak. If we're talking about physical strength, that's exactly what that means. That doesn't mean I would do it or I have a desire to. So that is you, one of the things you that have muscle mass out to. that can out muscle mass women. I don't have that muscle mass. I know a lot of dudes that don't have that muscle mass that can outdo. There's a lot of women that I mean, are so, half my size that can just like Kung Fu their way out of things. Like I mean, okay, self I mean, okay. defense and all okay. these all these different things that, and aspects that go into it. I really don't like that whole women are weaker. It's just it's so demeaning for no reason. I mean, so what do you again? If if I point out anything, it doesn't really matter to you because you're going to pick and choose what you want. I'm showing and you that, the I mean, reality of things, Tony. That's what you want. That's that's great. I'm showing and you I've the reality you of things, Tony. Rea what reality has been for me, you know. Like so what? also what? talks about. You, again, okay, yeah. not fighting fire with fire. I don't have to diminish my character just because someone else gets out of theirs. Okay, I, understanding how to how to calm down, right? How to not go off on you know fourteen well, and fifteen and sixteen year old teenagers who want to curse you out because you asked them did they have a pass? Yeah, no, that sucks. Right? Man. Yeah, no, no. Your Those teacher. Kinds of things. Thank you for your service. My 100%. belief in God. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. But no, my I mean, belief in God brought me to that kind gotcha. of thing. Gotcha. Now, now, God, the guy that you worship, the guy that you're getting this from, he is not mm -hmm. very patient. He is not very kind. If so, if he's he lashes out irrationally so fast and so quick, like I mean, he could wipe us all out now if he wanted to. But Daniel four thirty five, he does what he pleases with the powers of heaven and the peoples of the earth. They are regarded as nothing. We are regarded as nothing. I, I, he could wipe us all out now. Why hasn't he? Because he's not real, Tony. That's why. <laughs> That's what you I mean, believe. there's that. I mean, Mike, I, I mean, I don't really, there's I only, mean, I, I don't really, you know, argue. I mean, I can only tell you what God has done for me and in my yeah, life. You no, know the Bible frontwards and backwards. And it feels maybe like even it's more better you than, than God, I, Maybe though. better than I do. It, it feels like it's more you I, than God. I disagree. Hmm. No. Nah. Yeah. Well, okay, so no, because we all have thoughts and things that we huh. would wish to do that we would never even speak of. And for me, like what, Tony? God is is, I mean, Tony, I mean, come on. I don't know. <laughs> You're the one that made that claim. That's a weird claim. I don't. I don't understand which. I mean, um, this is. We are going with that. We all have our own thoughts in our head that we wouldn't share with other people. Oh yeah, yeah. No, like yeah, yeah. I guess so. Oh, yeah, but not like actions I'd like to do that I wouldn't want to act out because of other people or something like that. I mean, it could be something it's silly. It could mm. be something as small as, okay, those same teenagers, oh, you yeah, know, one yeah. walks up on you or wants, wants to disrespect you, right? Ugh. This is the, a very easy analogy that everybody is can be familiar with. Mm. Okay, it would be easy to put your forearm on one of those kids and go, hold on, I'll back up, right? I'm grown that's not something you wish to do. There's plenty of people, plenty of videos, you know, check World Star, you know, check the news. Hmm. Okay. But for me, the reason that I'm able to be more in control is uh, the spirit that lives in me, God's spirit. Interesting. So that's, a, I mean, that's a, 
you know, an easy example, you know, because I've, I've had mm -hmm. kids yeah. be aggressive, you know, Oof. and yeah. So I don't know how you do it, man. That's, that's tough. what I would attribute it to. That's tough. I couldn't uh, do it. I just told you, man, no Jesus way. Christ. Well, you're telling me the same guy that, that wiped out the Egyptian kids in their sleep is the one that gives you patience. The same one. The same one that ordered the death of every Amalekite baby is the one that gives you patience. The same one. That just doesn't add That's up crazy, for me. Right? It, <laughs> not the word I would use, Tony. It just doesn't add up for me. It just doesn't make sense for me. You know? I, I, I you got this. I can't make it make sense, Michael. But do you believe in let's go to the next one? Do you believe in hell? What's the word saying? What's the word? Well, there's a lot of Tony. I talked to a lot of Christians. Everybody believes a Michael, lot of different I, things reading the same book. So, I mean, you know, do, do you believe in the eternal true. hellfire? Yes. Okay. Do you think that I, as an atheist, deserve hellfire? Oh, man. I can't, I don't, I can't get into who deserves hell and who doesn't. Well, That's your book is very clear. Your book is very that. clear. I deserve hell. Do you believe that we're all there born will be in a time? In a place, there'll be a time in a place where everyone is judged, yeah. And I'm not the one battle. that makes that judgment, yeah. You know, Mike, I mean, that's so it that's does the happen. best I can give you, man. Gotcha. I, I can't, I can't sit up here and say I can explain every part of the Bible and talk no. about how, you yeah. know, all of it is the, the best, you know, but I can only talk about what I can talk about, you know, right. and that's how God has changed my life for the better. Gotcha. I don't know if that makes for. A boring show. But, no, you're fine. You know, you're fine. I, it just helped me understand, you know, how it works argument. for you. That's where I'm at, you know. I just want to know how these yeah. things work for you. So if we are all born sinners, is that that's something you follow through? We all born and we're deserving hell. Without the blood of Jesus, we would all be going there. Right? There comes to a I mean, like the six month old baby, I don't believe is a is a sinner. Okay. Right? They haven't they haven't we're done anything. Six yet. year old. Six year old <laughs> so, kid. They haven't they haven't come to the knowledge okay. of knowing right and wrong and who God is and that kind of stuff, right? They haven't come to that point. Where's that? What age is that? Yeah. I mean, I I can't sit up here and act like I can tell you. Hmm. I won't. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Bible but, says it very clearly that we're born sinful. Like everybody who's born has that sin disease attached onto them. So... <clears throat> How do we get rid of that? But sin, sin is an action, though. Well, yeah, I guess. But it's also. Yeah, a, I mean, they said the a thoughts, thing. you know. You know <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you can even be. Yeah. yeah. Thought crimes, man. Jesus is uh, condemning everybody for thought crimes. Thanks, Jesus. Gosh. <laughs> Can't even think about farting on anybody. Thanks, Jesus. So. Will farting on somebody be a sin? Maybe. Probably. I mean, it's you offensive, know, right? It, I guess. I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> Hanging on my kids too long. <laughs> uh, so, I my mean, my cousin used to fart on us, my oldest cousin. See, there it is. There uh, it is. Okay, I'm getting off track. I'm rambling. Here we go. <laughs> Finally, Tony rambles. Holy crap. Where have you been? Uh, man. So, do you believe we're all born sinful? And what, at what time does, like, I don't know, how does the blood work? How does the blood work for you? How do you think it works? Like, because Jesus is dead, he conquered. Quotation marks sin at, the, at when he died, but we yes. still have sin and we still have yes. the devil. So how does any of that work for you? So the sin, uh, yes, we all have it, and we, excuse me, we don't become sin uh, less. You can sin less, less, but <laughs> completely none. Woo! That, that's a uh, that's a tongue twister. But you when. When you accept Jesus Christ, um, and that's how you are uh, forgiven of your sins once and for all. You have to accept now, him. Uh, as you accept, yes. Yes. Once you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, died on the cross, rose from the dead in three days. You know the scripture. Uh, once you do that part, <laughs> then you are you are saved. Hmm. And from there, uh, you get the Holy Spirit. God. And the Holy Spirit then kind of directs you how to lead life. Interesting. Interesting. So what happens mm -hmm. if you get Jesus and this Holy Spirit, and then you stop believing? Does Jesus leave your heart and the Holy Spirit leave your body and you're destined for hell? How does that work for you? 
that's all i mean that's again that's that's something that's in each person's mind right huh. i don't know when you did you did you actually believe jesus or have you actually now stopped believing hmm. right that's all like in somebody's head so theoretically if i could see into somebody's brain hmm. and they go i've accepted jesus christ 100 percent i'm gung-ho holy spirit whoop de doo okay <laughs> i don't believe that person could then stop believing in jesus well actually i don't, think, I, don't i don't i'm gonna raise my hand here All i right, did that for it, Michael. i was hardcore christian Ooh. man bible believing Raising your hands, crying in the spirit, and all that shenanigans. That's oh, that was me for a long time. I taught Sunday school for mm. a little bit. Well, not really taught it, taught it, but I was, you know, I helped out in teaching it. Printed the, okay, I printed okay. the wonderful coloring Shout pages for, with Lot's wife as a p- pillar of salt. Great job, good stuff to teach kids. <laughs> but then I, I read the book. I actually picked up the Bible and I read it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Holy cow! I just I could not connect the dots any longer. It, it's like I had been right. to Wizard of Oz and looked behind the curtain. I'd seen it all. I understand it now. The veil was pulled back. Exactly. These are just people writing this. And it just makes sense when you go to that route. That's why we have all these horrible things in there. Because these are people writing their thoughts. They're they're they're, you know, what they thought was perfect. If you've got a loving mm-hmm. God, of course he's not going to wipe out the whole planet because they don't love him back. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't add up. Hellfire, same thing. It just it just does not add up to this loving God character, to this this ultimate father figure. And and if we're flawed, broken human beings and we can figure that out, then God did something wrong there. Either way you look at it, mm. he's a documented child killer and I cannot and I refuse to worship anybody who drowns children or or starves children or slaughters them out of jealousy, which he does in Hosea 9. There's so many bad things in there. He sends wild animals to tear them apart. I, You know, kids aren't the greatest little things on the planet, but man, I can't imagine watching something like that happen. Like, I have empathy, you know? I mean, kids are annoying, but no, no, man. And then you worship this guy. Then you tell other people to worship him. And it's like, I I just, it's so weird to me. It's so weird. Help it make sense. I mean, but, but people, people kill people every day. Yeah, but you I'm know, not worshiping them people. though. I'm not telling everybody that that's a good person. Steve Rorin was a good person. He never slaughtered any kids. <laughs> you know, Spider-Man's a great person. Yeah. <sighs> He saves people. He doesn't ask for bloodshed for forgiveness. He doesn't sit there on top of New York and saying, look, you have to kill the innocent in order for me to forgive you. No, that's not what he does. Those people ain't God. Those Those people people aren't God. That makes it worse. He's supposed to be the ultimate authority of goodness. And he's over here slaughtering out of jealousy. So he's not forcing people to do anything. But like, when does grace run out? Like, okay, even with your kids, like, can they just do whatever they want forever? What you, well, I'm not going to. Uh, well, I'm not going to torture them forever. I'm not going to slaughter you're, you're not them for kill doing them, something, though, right? Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm not going to kill what if them. That was only one way. Either they die or they live. God is uh, has unlimited power. There were unlimited options for him. He chose that mm-hmm. way. He chose. He chose to 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 turn Lot's wife into a pillar of salt just for looking at the destruction. Who does that? Don't even look at it. I'm going to turn you into a pillar of pepper. Like, well, I mean, come on. Like, wh- who does this kind penalty of punishment? Penalty of sin was death at that point. Penalty of sin was death. There was no timeout. There was no, I'm putting you on punishment. I'm taking your phone away. It was de- death or life. <laughs> well, That's how it? we numbers, handle things. Numbers 25.5. Each of you must put to death those of your men who have joined in worshiping Baal. Like, you can't even worship another god. Or he will slaughter you no. and your kids. Now, if your kids That's decided to, to call somebody else dad, would you slaughter them? No. No, because no. we're rational beings. <laughs> we're not going to get upset and irrational like that. No. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. This is fun, though. This was fun. Thanks, Tony.
I appreciate your oh, good attitude oh, towards nice. all this. 100%. Plug your stuff. Where's, where, where can we find your podcast? You can find the Living Numbers podcast on every way stream. Uh, so Spotify, Apple Podcasts, even on YouTube if you want to watch. Uh, and that's pretty much where you can find everything. Uh, Living Numbers podcast on Instagram and TikTok. That's pretty much where I post all of my stuff too. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, TikTok. Oh, TikTok. Yeah, I just got 10,000 followers or subscribers or whatever you call that. That's fun. I uh, just started that. Hey, good uh, job, Mike. TikTok's a scary thing. But thank you so much for your for your uh, your questions, your your answers, your 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 patience, everything. And and you know what, your podcast. I just wanted to let you know your editing is is superb. I I love how you you edit and your your questions you ask are pretty good too. Um, so keep doing what you do. Thank you. Eventually, we'll have another conversation a month down the road, and you'll be like, Mike, I questioned everything, and you know what? I don't believe anymore. <laughs> we'll get there. Maybe a month down, we'll talk again. Thank you, Tony. I'll let you know when this comes out. I'll stay in touch. Take care. And that's all the show there is for you today. Thanks for listening. If you like what you heard and want to help keep the recording light on, simply go to patreon.com forward slash BSW the podcast and sign up to be a supporter of the show. Your episodic tithes of a dollar or more will give you access to the patron feed, unaired conversations, early access to each episode, and much more. For the latest events, BSW swag, and a peek behind the scenes, head on over to the show's ever evolving webpage at thebiblesayswhat.com. The Bible says what the book is out. Head on over to thebiblesayswhat.com and get yourself and your grandma a signed copy. Thanks to the cosmic powers of the internet, it is now possible to buy me a beer or coffee online. Simply go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash BSW the podcast and click the appropriate buttons. If you can't support the show monetarily, please like, share, and or leave a review. As always, you can find me at the Bible Says What Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram pages. You can also reach me at BSW the podcast at gmail.com. And no matter which platform you use to listen to your podcasts, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out on the next episode. Until then, would you kindly pick up your Bibles and read them? I'll think it's in there somewhere. Mm-hmm.